Hey guys, and welcome back to Plant Boutique. My name is Heather. This is my channel where I talk about all the plant related things. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. I am wearing this awesome robe, so I'm pretty excited. I got it from Em and Sprout. They have a lot of Halloween spoopy things. I got this robe. It's super soft and it's long. I buy my robes kind of bigger because I like to feel like a, I don't know, burrito. <laughs> Anyway, for today's video, I have a plant unboxing. Actually, there are two plants. I have one of these plants already in my collection, and I couldn't pass it up, so now we're here. <laughs> if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and smash the notifications bell. It really does help my channel get out there, and it helps reach more plant enthusiasts like you guys. Let's get to unboxing, shall we? So I got these plants from The Green Escape and I absolutely love ordering from them. They never failed me and I actually have a couple plants from them. I will link their shop in the description below for you guys. But I really love doing these unboxing videos. I can't wait to do more for y'all. It's paper! I need to go home. Okay, cool. So, I think it's a box inside a box, maybe? Oh no, okay, I'm just gonna see how I can do this without the net. Oh, there we go. Are you packed a paper? Okay, okay. How do, how do they do this? I appreciate it, Green Escape, but it's like Tetris, trying to get these plants out of here. I don't want to mess them up. I do love the packaging though. <laughs> no complaints. Oh my goodness, okay, there's got to be a way. Let me just stick my hand in there and see what I can do. Okay, it feels like they're kind of tape. There's one, oh lord, okay, there's one. And then there's two. Oh no, don't fall. Thank you. Oh yes, it's so pretty. Oh, oh, oh man. It's so much prettier than my other one. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 This is um, a variegated Maranta prayer plant, but it is beautiful. Holy moly. There's not another life. Oh gosh. Okay. Hold on. Let me do it this way. There it is. So cute. And there's another one. Oh, this is like Christmas morning. This is wonderful. I love it. Such a pretty plant. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to set you down so I can open the other one. But if you guys have any trip trips, <laughs> if you guys have any tips or tricks for caring for a variegated Maranta, please let me know in the comments below because I have another one, but it didn't seem to like where I had it. So I moved it under a grow light and it seems to like it better. I don't know if it's going to need more light, how much humidity, oh, what's on it? Excuse me, sir? Are those? No, please tell me it's not what I think it is. And it's just perlite and not mealy bugs. Please tell me it's just perlite. No, I don't think it's just perlite. No, I gotta treat it for mealybugs. All right, well, you're just gonna sit on the table, sir, until I can get to you. As soon as I'm done, actually, I might do a little bit of a treatment with you guys, too, actually. Yes. <laughs> the next one I'm opening up is my Homa Lumina Selby. I hope you don't have any, oh wow, big leaves. Thing. 
Wow, they came in so pretty. Oh, wow. I love, okay, I'm not gonna mess with the stuffing right now because I'm gonna make a huge mess. So pretty. Do homolaminas like brighter light or do they kind of require the same care as aglionemas? Let me know. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Sorry I don't seem as enthused right now. I'm a little sleepy, but I promise you guys I'm thrilled. I, if you guys have any like recommendations on what plants you want me to unbox next time, I will totally take those recommendations. I love, I love it. This is fun. The plants came in so beautiful. The packaging was great. And like I said before, I will be linking the shop down in my description below. And I am going to go ahead and do a mealybug treatment on that variegated maranta. I'm going to walk you guys through it. It's only one I see so far, but I'm going to treat the whole plant as if it's infested. You typically want to do that. If you see one, just might as well expect more. <laughs> Handy dandy Captain Jacks. Kind of, there's a little bit of a mixture in there too. So it's a mix of Captain Jacks and whatever the heck was in another spray bottle. It's uh, in, It was a homemade insecticidal soap I had on hand. So I just ended up mixing it all together. Sorry you guys can't see me, I'm kind of off the radar. <laughs> uh, okay. So, let me, let me just sit down real fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably going to rinse this off, get any, oh, why? It doesn't look like there's nest or anything. Maybe it was just like, that's okay, I'll get it. I'm good at killing mealybugs. <laughs> eradicating them oh I see a whole slew of them okay yeah I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go ahead and treat this ASAP now but the weird thing is there's not like nest or anything they're just kind of like chilling on the plant huh all right I'm gonna go rinse it off real fast I'll be I'll be back I right, see a little droopy now because I rinsed her off but that's fine no, I have dirt all over the table. So, uh, I'm actually, I actually can't do it right here because I kind of want to do it in the, in a place where I can drench this thing. But typically what you want to do when you do a mealybug treatment is you want to drench the plant or spray any of the visible bugs you can see, spray them off with water, and then you want to treat it with either an acceptocidal soap, a diluted isopropyl alcohol mixture or Captain Jack's so you'll make sure you keep up with those treatments because if you don't they will come back <laughs> so I'm just going to just tell you what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna go do it and come back and end the video I'll be back again <laughs> okay. all right now it's done anyway so I'm probably gonna do the same thing with this guy just rinse it off and give it like a quick treatment just in case anyway that completes my video for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and thank you for coming back as always. You guys are amazeballs and I couldn't do this without you. Thank you for being the best support ever. The plant community, I love you. You're amazing. I know I said that already, but it's fine. <laughs> if you guys love to see how I take care of all of these plants, please subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up and smash the notifications bell. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Stay beautiful, happy planting.